what's up it's another video check this out a dude here on tiktok is talking about understanding the upbringing of your partner before you marry him or her let's let the tape roll for a little bit and then we'll start talking before we shut up, make sure you understand the upbringing of your partner because you know i'll communicate when in the event that you can't hear Isi Zulu, he's just basically said, before you marry someone, make sure you know their upbringing because once married, once committed to them, you're going to start saying, you don't communicate, you don't communicate. And you're going to realize that the person is nodding away listening, but they're not really hearing what you're saying. Yeah, okay. I understand. Because I communicate. The person would just agree or just affirm, but not really understand what you mean and why it is important and why you're mentioning it. They can hear you without really listening. Maskula, we don't treat a girl child and boy child the same. A girl child often is irresponsibility at a young age. He's saying when we are brought up as children, we're not all brought up the same. Girls, for instance, are taught responsibilities while they're still young. Now we can go epsugu, bastum epsugu, sense epsugu. We are not going to account to anyone. Meanwhile, we as guys can be out at night, whether being sent or of our own accord, we are not really the type to account to somebody so much. And we are brought up that way. Therefore, we are not communicating with your opinions and Babu also boy. So then we don't really communicate what time we're coming, what time we're going, because we're brought up like that. So you grow up with that thing and you get used to it and it goes into your marriage with you and you start acting that way and it really affects your marriage. Family time. Your partner is not spending time with the family. Or in the family, most of us, we are from broken families. Black people, we know, most of us. And Master Slang and Alapa, when you from a family, you understand what we eat meal together, we watch TV together, we play together, we do all those things together. I mean, I'm not from there. You need to teach me. Otherwise, you're sneaking king, I'm shattering. So he's saying that if you're the partner in the marriage who was not brought up with an understanding of family time, having a meal together, conversating, finding closure in one another, confiding in one another. You are going to have to be my teacher in the relationship. If I am the partner who's flawed, you are going to have to introduce that to me because I never saw it. I'm a victim of my upbringing. Finances. Is your partner disciplined when it comes to finance? Is he spending more or he will save more? Because when we grew up, finances, we are not taught in Makaya. We are not taught at schools. The family is about Wenzai. Talk to spend, 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 spend. So we're not taught in the schools. We're not taught in the families how to handle finances. He's speaking English for the most part here. So my translation is not necessary. And now you need to buy a bond. You need to buy a house. How? If you're spending more. We're going to have problems with the banks. Yes. Quality time. Umu to okay understand the quality time. Makumi quality time in. I'm gonna spend an hour the whole week. Saturday I'm in a bang and bake. Ba 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 injo la ba injo akona. Makabu ye. Utu ena. You don't spend time with me. Quality time. I can understand. So this is one of the things that people don't get in a relationship. So he says, your partner can spend a week with you and then be off on the weekends to be with other people. And we all know on the weekdays, we're pretty much working, taking care of life. The weekends is our time off to actually be together. So now when you see a partner disappear on the weekends, believing that the time spent during the week, you know, bathing and leaving, heading off to work, coming back in the afternoons, taking care of kids and sleeping. If the partner does not understand what quality time is, that is the manifestation. They believe I've given you enough time and then this actual quality free time, they go committed to friends, etc. And they're gone the whole weekend. Quality time, Yin. Let's cuddle and watch movie together. Let's, let's, let's go to movies. Let's go to dates. I'm dates. He doesn't even celebrate your birthday. Because Egibo Mabakula, they didn't celebrate Ama birthday. Ao Agawaza my family vacations. Ab Agaza Bahama by family. Bagma vacation. So this is a person who's now gone through all sorts of 
dull family experiences. The family has not had a quality time. They've never been free enough to experience the pleasures of time. Perhaps they were held up by poverty, as many of us would be as black South Africans. Families that struggle are often broken apart by their squabbles, their struggles, and quality time is not frequently had. Intercourse. You know, boys are more excited about quantity than quality. How many rounds they had. Koto always fazane akafigana guvutonda. He winks. Uvutonda ba. I don't know what that means. Kimopedi. Check it out. It's not about quantity. It's about uvutonda ba. Cause tu ba na mati force. Kona ba zopuma ba uchid. Dila na ulog. Guess he's talking about quality. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. And so watch out for that because sexual dissatisfaction is frustrating in a marriage if you don't know. It's incredibly, incredibly frustrating. When you grow up perhaps being Christian and sex is something that you are taught and it's rightfully taught that it belongs in a marriage, you grow up looking forth to a time where you're going to have sex freely and in abundance with quality and so when you finally get into a marriage and somebody is ducking around you know closing the legs not wanting to engage much things get very disappointing the whole marriage gets disappointing the dissatisfaction of it hits you in the mind and in the pants it becomes really hectic so watch out for provision of quality provide yourself we are now toys to each other i need to play with you and you need to play with me we've decided not to play with other people so let's not drive each other towards thinking about other people it's it's the truth it's facts they believe if you're a christian it's better with you christian i'm not saying but it's better so if you're christian he advises that you had better marry somebody who's christian he says you can marry whoever you like he's not forcing it upon you but it's best to be on the same plane Obani zolwa omunye Christian omunye not a Christian omunye uyini omunye ama believe nazo qasha ngicabani So that's the end of it you better make sure that if you're Christian so I'm Christian I believe in Jesus Christ the Lord being the only redeemer, the only mediator, the son of God indeed, who was born in the flesh, who was a vehicle for his father. The father was among us and he lived with us and he dwelt with us. He walked in our body and he showed us how to live. I accept that. I'm Christian. I believe when others doubt. So what he's mentioning about being Christian is the ultimate truth because Christ is the truth. What Christ has spoken is not a lie. So Christ's way is the actual way. So you're going to find it difficult if you're going to be somebody who is living Christ's way and you come together in marriage, in union, in a long-term commitment with somebody who finds that to be nonsensical. When they believe that who you're praying to, when they think that it's all surreal, that it's mythological, that it's nonsensical, that it's a hobby of yours, you're seriously going to find problems. But I think that would be a video all on its own on a different day. For me, I just want to know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you next time.